listening to the Lone Star Play podcast with your host, Patrick Scott Armstrong. For more info, go to lonestarplate.show. Lone Star Play podcast is produced by Texas Real Food. Go to texasrealfood.com and you can search your city for stores, butchers, restaurants, farmers markets, and more who are using fresh, artisanal, organic sources. It's a fun site that brings all natural options all together. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Lone Star Play podcast. This is going to be our final episode of the season, so our season finale, and we'll be back on Labor Day, uh, the first Monday of September, with a brand new episode. It will be exciting. More on that coming up soon. But first, in this episode, I am going to release never before heard evidence and proof that Lou Elizondo is working on something new coming out here in the fall. Something that's never been discussed before publicly. You're going to want to stay tuned and find out what that is. Again, information about Lou Elizondo that's never been released before. All right, let me backtrack. So we put out an episode about six weeks ago, and in the comments after that episode came out, I promised, we'll put a link in the description, first of all, for that episode. Um, It's about Lou Elizondo. I put a comment in there that I would be releasing an episode at the end of the season um, as a follow-up. This is it. It's sort of three parts. One, the information about Lou Elizondo the update and follow up to that original episode that we did, and three, what's coming up for the new season. We put out this episode and the feedback we get, you know, you'll see in the comments is is kind of 50-50 people being like, yeah, I, I, you know, not sure about Lou Elizondo and then people fiercely defending him. We got it all wrong, this and that, even though I never accused anybody of anything, I just said, ask questions, right? And because of that episode, uh, it actually led to more things. So let me tell you what happened. So we put out that episode. And since full disclosure, I had originally reached out to Lou Elizondo's people before I even did that episode. And they told me that um, we could do an interview with him, but not till the fall when he had a new book coming out. Okay, so that's not the big news. That is public knowledge. Um, I'm not sure if people know that it comes out this fall, but that is, if it's not, then there you go. It is this fall. So I reach back out after the episode to see if I can get maybe some more, I don't know, comments on some of the, you know, inconsistencies that, uh, there had been. So I can't say who, and I even have this conversation recorded and you're going to get to listen to it in just a moment. Um, I even have, okay, so I, I, okay, I got to be careful because I can't reveal who I spoke to. Okay. Um, it's very, the, I have to keep the anonymity. It's an anonymous source, but not anonymous to Lou. So someone very close in Lou's circle, um, who, absolutely is in contact with Lou, um, basically told me that, you know what, why don't we listen to the conversation, I've altered the voice, and we'll discuss it when we come back, okay? Again, you're not going to know who this person is, I'm not going to reveal, but let's find out what it is, and then we'll discuss what was said.
All right, so you've heard the conversation. Absolutely fascinating, right? So let's break this down, what was said. Top secret, okay? Apparently, Lou's got something coming out very soon that's top secret he's been working on, not the book, that's going to basically put a sock in everybody's mouth that's been doubting him, okay? So what does that mean? Take that with a grain of salt. I don't know. Do I trust this person that's telling me? Absolutely. 100%. And I, you know, I'm very curious as to what it is. And in fact, I waited a while to release this information because I wasn't sure at the beginning. And I wasn't sure if this person was feeding me information to see if I just put it out. And, you know, I, I don't know. That, you know, getting into this game, it's just been this whole mess. Again, I just want to find out if the things flying around the sky are coming from other planets. Instead, I'm involved in, you know, all this stuff. Just trying to find out if the people, uh, you know, that are telling us this information, we can even trust them. Let me just speak from the heart for a second. Do I trust what Lou was saying? I, I got to be honest, man. I'm, I'm starting to trust the guy, if I'm, being, if I'm being real, okay? It just would be so odd to lie about this stuff. It's his entire reputation, entire of who he is. Like, you know, it, it just makes no sense. It would just be very odd to lie about it all. So... And that person also sent me a document, uh, my source, from Harry Reid um, that is public out there, you know, stating that Lou was in charge of this stuff, right? And re recently released, you can find Lou Elizondo's Inspector General uh, complaint. It's really long, but it has a lot of details in there, right? And they're basically just trying to wash him away in his information, I, I got to say, there's a lot of data and proof coming out in support of Lou. Okay, that, that's the truth, right? If you want the truth, you got to kind of follow the evidence. The evidence is sort of leaning there. Yeah, there's some inconsistencies here and there, you know, whatever. But did Lou, you know, help run this program in, in the Pentagon to help look for UFOs? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this guy did. He did. And he ran a program. You know, are they trying to sort of wish wash what exactly it was and what the duties and the, yeah, maybe so. And that's why Lou's fighting it. I get that. That makes total sense why Lou would would want to do that. But there's just too much out there publicly. and There's too many people behind him with strength and power. They're putting their name behind him. It just doesn't make any sense. And as he has said, there's more people to come out. And with this, you know, this person told me not to use their name very clear not to use their name but not for the reason you think you know just because they don't want to be hounded by this community coming after them and i get it and this person is very trustworthy okay i can't say how or who or what but i trust them i do okay and this is fascinating again this is not out there about lou there's no information out there about lou elizondo working on a top secret project that's going to be coming to light very soon that will basically, you know, prove everyone wrong. Uh, when has that been said? So share it. Let's get that out there. What's going on with that? Let's ask questions. So you heard the conversation yourself. That was a, a real conversation. Uh, again, I've altered the voice. You're not going to see who it is. Absolutely fascinating. FYI, we are going to be having Lou Elizondo on the podcast. Okay. That was confirmed to me. We will be having him on this fall. Hopefully that happens. I have nothing against Lou. I would love to just talk to him. And honestly, if, if you know this podcast, you know that I let my guests speak, right? I'm not here to do anything, you know, talk all over them or whatever, get my point across, ask questions uh, from the audience, from myself, have a conversation um, and go from there. So hopefully Lou's down for that. We got that Latin connection. Let's do it, Luis. Vamonos. Um, and you know, I respect the guy. It can't be easy what he's doing. That's, that's real. That's real talk. And if he's lying, good God, he's, you know, got a lot to answer for later in life. And that'll be kind of up to him, right? That's between him and God. So, okay. So Lou's going to come on. I got that information. Uh, I, I respect that person's anonymity. So again, please don't ask me for the source. Please don't ask me who told me that. You're never going to know. I will never reveal that. Uh, that kind of stuff is very important to me, regardless if I think that person is this, that, or the other. I, I made a promise about that, and I will stick with it. Okay, so um, that goes with anybody that wants to reach out and tell me 
something, right? Any information about this, feel free. I will protect you at all costs. I'm not going to lose my job. Everyone behind this is behind it. Um, and that's it, you know? Getting back to the next part. What's coming up? What are we going to do? Well, instead of focusing on the people, like I said, we're going to focus on the places, the things, the sightings. So right here, 51, area 51. Guess what? Coming up on the new season, I booked a flight to Las Vegas, Nevada. I head out tomorrow morning. And for four days, I will be traversing extraterrestrial highway and doing my best to interview some people, kick some tires, hit the ground, and potentially see Area 51. My cousin Jared Armstrong, who lives in Florida, is going to meet me out there. And, um, you know, back in the day, long, long time ago, my cousin Jared and I, we used to live in Pennsylvania like 20 years ago, no joke, we used to like go out uh, ghost hunting you know, with cameras and stuff, just like old prisons and stuff up in the Northeast, uh, just as a hobby, whatever, it was fun. So this is kind of like going back to that. So not that we're planning on capturing any UFOs, but who knows? Look, I don't know. Um, you know, I have my reservations. I've never seen one. Um, I want to believe, but at the same time, it's scary. That's this, that's that. I don't know. Look, again, we're going to go. Okay, tired of talking about it, tired of zooming over these things, tired of looking in and documents and what. We're going to Area 51 and we're going to see what happens. This is the first part of a long journey into ignoring the drama and the nonsense, right? And just looking for the truth. And I'm not saying we're going to find it. I'm not saying we're going to find any answers, but what we will do is try. I hope that suffices everyone in the comments uh, about what we're doing. If you have any questions about anything, leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and any suggestions about where we should take this investigation. I don't know where it's going to go, what's going to happen, what we're going to do, but this isn't going to be easy, you know? Um, and we want it to be fun, right? So forget the drama. We'll come back to the Lou Elizondo story when we hear more about that. But I decided to tell you what I know, the update from doing that episode. So I got that information from doing that episode, right? So again, new, never before heard information about Lou Elizondo. Top secret. What is it? I don't know. Did they recover craft? Is it some new thing? I don't know. Is it working with the government? They didn't tell me that, you know, I don't know. We'll put a link in the description to that past UFO episode about Lou and um, look forward to hearing your comments and look forward to the new season, Labor Day. Look for the new episode of our trip to Area 51. What a way to come into the new season premiere, right? So we'll let you know what we find on the ground investigation, Area 51 coming up Labor Day, new season of the Lone Star Plate. I'm your host, Patrick Scott Armstrong. It's a pleasure serving y'all this year and this season. Thank y'all so much for the support. We've grown quite a bit and uh, had some really great content and we couldn't do it without you guys. So if there's a guest or someone you'd like us to interview, let us know and uh, we'll try to make that happen for the new season. So as always, thank you so much for watching and listening and streaming. And uh, please tell a friend, that helps us a lot. And leave a review in Apple Podcasts. I found out we got a lot of people listening on Apple, so please leave us a review. That would help us all a lot. All right, guys, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your summer. See if we find any aliens in Area 51. Peace, y'all. listening to the Lone Star Plate podcast with your host Patrick Scott Armstrong. For more info, go to lonestarplate.show.